Okay, welcome back to the fourth and final part of this series. Um, what we're going to be doing in this video is um, we are going to be adding the check to the pick, sorry, the player listener here to see if the player that has actually, you know, interacted with the block actually has the pick enabled. Um, and also I'm going to add a, another check to, um, well, I'm going to have a bit of a gamble a little bit and see if the reason that my client crashed before was because an air block was dropped or something like that. Um, I, I think it might have happened when I was clicking quite quickly. I thought I've double clicked, so it might have re-registered. I don't know. So we'll try that out and see if it is that. Um, to be honest, I, I don't know. It might just be that you know the game crashes quite a lot. So, <laughs> um, so what we need to do here is we need to check to see if the player that has interacted with the block um, actually you know has the pick enabled. So on, once we've determined that they have left clicked, what we can do is check here. So we can do if, well actually what we need to do first is you know, get the player. So we'll do that just by defining a new variable of type player, whose name is also going to be player, and this is going to be equal to event get player, which is there. Oops, okay. And now because we need to, sorry, I just need to import this, so let's just do that. Uh, there we go. So because we now need to access the um, array list, which is stored in our super pick class, um, and it is a property of the um, you know the main object, the super pick object, um, we need to pass in the you know instance of this class to our um, to our you know here <laughs> as our to our constructor. That's it to our listener, so that we can then use the that to access this list. So what we're going to do is just add this here which is you know the current object that you're inside if that makes sense um, and then we need to add a sort of method here to accept that and define it as a property so what we're going to do is create a new public method which is going to be a constructor so it doesn't have a type and its name is going to be the same as the class name so we just do that and it's going to take the single parameter which is the this we just added um, and the type of that is super pick and we to give this the name instance like so. And then we're going to create a new property of this listener which is going to be private and its uh, type is going to be super pick and its name is going to be plugin which is and it's not going to have a value at this point. We're going to give it the value when we initialize the class which is in here. So we just do this plugin equals instance. So now we can use plugin in place of this in here. So we can access the array list here as we did um, here, instead of this active players, we'll have plugin active players. So we can check to see if the player is on the list by doing um, if no, we can do if plugin active players contains player get name, which is there. So if, if they are on the list, they have the pick enabled, and we want to do the super pickaxe thing, like so. And also, let's just add the check for air, just to make sure that it, you know, that might be the problem. So we, if, we've deter, uh, if we've determined that they are on the list, we also want to check to make sure that they're not click on, clicking on an air block somehow. And you could sort of extend this to you know allow only allow the super pick to work on certain blocks. Um, like nether portals for example, if you click on the middle you know, the, the portal block of the nether portal um, you get the drop, which is obviously not ideal um, you don't want to be giving people blocks that you shouldn't really be able to obtain in the game but like I said, I'm not covering that, um, it's meant to be about commands or focusing on commands anyway anyway, uh, what we need to do now, because we already have the type we can just check to make sure that type is not equal to material air, like so so now we can export this just for the final time, hopefully. Just click finish. And then we can start up the server again. Um, and something actually I didn't demonstrate previously that we'll just do now. Um, remember we, went, we wanted to make the pick on and pick off commands only available to players. If we just enter them here, you can see we get this message. The pick on command can only be used in game. So that does work. Um, obviously you could handle something a bit nicer you could like make you could have it enable it for all players or something but it's maybe not the best idea 
So, what we need to do now is go to... Actually, I will just op myself because it was getting dark and I've removed the plugins needed to make it day unless I'm an op. So let's just make me an op. Okay. So go back to the game and we'll test out the code that we've just created. But first, I'll just make it uh, time set zero, make it day, much nicer. So now, by default, I should have the super pick disabled. So, oh, okay, apparently not. Um, it's just destroying everything. Okay, so let's have a look at our code, and we'll see why that is. Oh, am I in creative mode? Yes, I'm in creative mode. Um, so I can do game mode. There we go, now I'm in survival mode. So now if I click a block, you can see that it just behaves as normal, and will drop as normal, you can collect them. Um, but if I do slash pick on, super pick enabled, and click on a block, you can see that it drops immediately. Um, and this will work for sort of any block, like so. Um, so yeah, apparently that seems to work. Uh, if I just do slash pick off and click some blocks, you can see now that the pick off command also works. Um, so I suppose we could also cover permissions, because permissions for commands are quite an obvious thing to do, but because I have covered that before, um, it's probably not something I'm going to do now, although I do still know quite a nice way to deal with permissions for commands, uh, so I might actually do that as a separate tutorial, because this was supposed to focus on just commands. Um, something I also might just point out, if I just put the pick back on, is that because we were dropping the actual block that was created, like I said, you can drop nether portal block, which isn't ideal. If I just click on the tree, you can see that a different type of wood is dropped because all we we're doing was getting the type and you know setting it to that, um, which isn't quite ideal. Um, I'm not actually sure what will happen if we do a door. I think it'll drop sort of the half door, yeah. And wheat drops seeds, so it's not quite ideal. Which about water? It works underwater, you can't click on the water block. So yeah, anyway, that is pretty much that. Um, so yeah, there you go. Hopefully you've learned commands from this, or commands have been explained in a little bit. Stone slab from wooden slab, because of the data value. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now, and thank you for watching, and hopefully this was useful, and it wasn't quite as polished as normal, but um, it's quite hot, so that's my excuse. Okay, so thanks for watching, and hopefully this was useful.